Okay, makinig. The program evaluation and review technique. Okay, based on the slide, can the next slide please? According to the slide, the program evaluation and review technique is a networking technique used for planning and controlling the activities in a project. Take note, networking. Ibig sabihin, pinagdudugtong-dugton po natin yung series of activities, okay, so that we can able to plan out and control the activities in the project. We can able to see ano yung dapat mauna at ano yung mga pending activities or activities that cannot be done because prior activities be made. No? Okay. It provides management pertinent about a project such as, number one, expected completion time of the project. The, the program evaluation review and technique is providing us, okay, time, no? Or the, the possible time that we can able to to finish a particular project, okay, um, project of the entity. Because in every, in every arrow there, no? In every arrow there or branches, branches yung tawag doon, there is an allotted time for that, okay? Kaya, we can able to identify immediately Okay, um, immediately at it, yung expected time to complete a certain project. And then the <clears throat> program evaluation and review technique provides as well, okay, when each activity in a project is scheduled to start and finish. Okay, di ba? Kasabi kasi kanina, there are, was, um, if we're going, if you have read in advance, the Program evaluation and review of technique has its beginning and its end, okay? And each branch, meron pong sinasabi kailan magsisimula at kailan dapat expected matapos. Okay? From one node to another, makikita po natin when to end this, this node and then from the end of that node, that would be the starting point for the, for the activity to finish at the at the next at the next activity or the node following to that okay so the the program evaluation and review technique will provide information as to what is the expected time what would be the expected day or when would be the possible day or the scheduled day na dapat magsimula yung isang activity at kailan dapat matapos ang isang activity Another um, um, another thing that the program evaluation and review technique will provide is that um, it provides which part of the project must be finished on time to avoid making the whole project late. Using the program evaluation review and technique, kasi meron po tayong tinatawag the series and parallel activities, okay, which will later i nandun sa succeeding slide, no? From that, makikita po natin na um, what activity of the project or part of the project should be done first prior to the next activity, or what activities it kailangan simultaneous gawin para matapos agad yung activity or yung the entire project. It will also provide us no, that ma matter. Another is that the program evaluation review technique um, will provide no, a um, which part of the project of uh, how resources may be shifted from one part to another of the project without affecting the overall completion time of the project. The program evaluation review and technique will also provide us information or data on how should the resources be um, 
utilized, okay, how it must be transferred from one from one activity to another or from one part of the project to another. Okay, when to to transfer one um these resources from one activity to another, okay, and how are we going to transfer it? Kasi, um, it will, kasi if we are going, if we knew about how these resources is being shifted from one, from, from one part to another part of the project, it may prevent any um, delays uh, on the part uh, uh, delays on the completion of the entire project. Another is that the program evaluation and review technique will also give us information as to the progress, the percentage of completion of the project. Okay, for example, um, from one activity to another activity, because we are past here to have around only six days and then as of now you were able to finish around how uh, you we were able to utilize already three days out of six activities uh, no, uh, six days on such activity as estimated na dapat matapos yung activity na yan, we can able to determine the progress whether or not naka 60-50% na po ba tayo on the on the completion of the uh, on the completion of the activity or on the part of the project. Here, we can easily evaluate, no? Okay? Kung matatapos siya agad in, an, in the expected time or targeted period na sinet natin. Okay? Next slide, please. So, what, what PERT will provide? No? A PERT will provide a diagram. Okay? A diagram. What what type of diagram? It is an arrow diagram. It is an arrow diagram because there are arrows there, and these arrows are called branches. No, yung arrow po ay tatawagin po natin itong branch or branches. Okay, because using the arrow, we can able to to observe. No, oh, paano yung flow ng parts or activities of the project. Kaya tinawag po siyang arrow diagram. On a network showing, bakit on a network? Kasi connected po silang lahat. Yung arrow na nilagay po natin on that diagram are connected to each other. Okay? Pero, from, parang from the end point, from, from the starting point to the end point, connected po yung mga arrows or merong mga arrows na nag naghiwalay okay but their destination will be the same kaya network po siya a network showing the interrelationship okay yon yung pagkakaroon ng relationship connections or interdependencies okay pagiging dependent ng isang activity to another activity of the various activities of a project. Although, diba, um, in Gantt chart, no, Gantt chart is similar to PERT as well, pero mas complex lang, okay, yung PERT, okay, yung Program Evaluation Review and Technique. Because yung Gantt chart, we just use the bar, bar chart. Here, we use a diagram, an arrow diagram, no? An arrow diagram. Sometimes nga nakakagawa tayo on PERT na parang isda. Okay? So, mas complex lang siya kasi mas detalyado, mas magbibigay ng information as to the possible time, what activities, how many days, okay, um, estimated to each activity, saan connected yung activity, okay, Saan dependent ang isang activity? Ano ang relasyon ng isang activity to another activity? Kaya mas complex po siya kesa sa Gantt A PERT diagram has the advantage of incorporating probabilistic time estimates and identifying the critical path. Okay. Okay. So, 
one of the advantage of the PERT diagram is incorporating the probabilistic time estimate. We were we can able to um, um, identify or incorporate on that diagram the probable time estimates um, na pwedeng matapos ang isang activity at even the entire project. And using the diagram, we can able to identify the critical path. Okay, ano po yung tinatawag na critical path? No? Okay, yung critical path, okay, it is the longest path through the network. That's the critical path. Pag sinabi po natin critical path, it is the longest path. Ibig sabihin, hindi siya po yung may pinakamahabang oras at panahon. Okay. Parang yung activity na yan will have the longest activity, okay, or longest time na dapat ibuhos. Okay. That's the critical path. Okay. Take note ha, what critical path is. That is the longest path through the network. Okay. Take note. Sige. That's the PERT, no? The PERT diagram is an arrow diagram on a network showing the interrelationship or interdependencies of the various activities of a project. It is more complex to the Gantt chart no? kasi mas marami po yung inilalagay na data or information and the PERT diagram can able to identify or incorporate the probabilistic time estimates on each activity because we incorporate the probable time na pwedeng matapos sa isang activity using the PERT diagram, we can able to identify the longest path in the network, okay? Or through the network. And that longest path is called the critical path, okay? Next slide, please. Okay, this is an example of of per of a per diagram. This is not a chart. This is a diagram. Huh? It is a diagram. Okay, yon. No, if you have going to check, there are there are arrows. Okay, and that arrows is called a branch, and there are circles, and that circle is called nodes. Ano po yung nodes? Okay, nodes. Okay, can be called event these are the event the nodes symbolizes the event okay when all activities leading to a node are finished one node to another okay from ibig sabihin one activity to another the arrow is the number of days the estimated days that we can provide so that we can able to proceed to the next node. Okay? Tignan nyo, ha? Okay? That's, that's, that's the, the um, symbols that we are going to use, the nodes. Okay? <clears throat> so, yon ha? The node, okay? It is something to do with, um, it is something to do the end point. Yun po yung kailangan gawin. Okay, yun po yung target na dapat matapos. And the arrow, yun po yung um, the activities that you need to do. Okay, or the number of days in an activity so that you can able to obtain the node. Okay, kung ano ang dapat magawa. Okay, sige. Um, let us um, define no, the parts of the PERT. Okay. Next slide, please. We have the node. Can be called event. Okay? That is the event. When all activities leading node are finished. Okay? The node is the event. When all activities leading to that node are finished. Okay? Ano naman po yung event? Event represent a specified accomplishment at a particular instant time. It represents the start or finish of an activity such as one 
such as, such, such as one or two in network. For example, the first node is the first, the start, okay? That is the event, okay? That is the node. And the second node is the finished, okay? Yun yung last, that is the end, okay? That is the second event or the, the event prior to the first node, okay? Okay, no? Minsan may mga numbers po yan, okay? And it is symbolizes, no? There is a branch there which represent the activities. Ito po yung arrow, no? Ito. Ito yung arrow na to. These are the activities, no? In that arrow, nilalagay po natin yung mga sinasabing um, time. Mga time. And there are there are different types of time that we can able to put there, okay? We, we have different types of time that we, we put there, no? Okay? Sa arrow, may time na ilalagay, okay? Sige. Going back nga, going back sa diagram, no? Okay? Ayan, no? Going back to the diagram po, diagram, yung... Okay, node, yung bilog, yung arrow, the task, or the activity. Then the next node will be the finish, the event, the end, or the, the finished part no, of the task. Okay, yun ha. In that arrow, lalagyan po natin yan ng oras. Okay, how many, how much time we are going to exert effort to that. Okay. Speaking of activity, next slide, sinabi po doon what activity is. The activity is the task to be accomplished. Ano po yung mga activities or mga task na dapat gawin? It represents the time. Kaya nga sinasabi ko kanina on that branch, merong time. Lalagyan po natin yan ng oras. And even resources necessary to accomplish the task. Okay. Okay, so that we can able to move from one node to another node. Okay, for example, number one, the first node, uh, before ka makapunta sa second node, there is an arrow there, and that arrow symbolizes the task or the activities, and on that arrow, maglalagay po tayo ng oras, okay, at mga resources necessary para makapunta sa second node. Okay? So, yun. Okay, ha? Take note of the terms there. Node, event, and activity. If sinabi pong event, it is on the node. Pag sinabi pong activity, it is on the branch. Okay? Sige. Next. What are the types of activities? We have types of activities na tinawag po natin kanina na, okay, series and parallel. Okay? Yung series, these are activity, okay, that cannot be performed unless its predecessor activity is finished. Going back to the diagram po. Going back to the diagram. Tignan nyo yung first circle to the second circle. Diba? The first circle and the second circle, itong semi-nodes, papunta dito. Okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Hello, naririnig pa ba? Okay. Yung, kung nakikita nyo yung first circle to the other circle, it is a series. Kasi it is from one, from one node to another and the second node is dependent or interdependent to the preceding node. The, the next node cannot be obtained without the preceding node or the preceding event. Similar to the next, ito pong iba, di ba? Yung ibang node hindi po matatapos kung hindi po nakadepende sa nauunang bilog. Yun po yung tinatawag na series. Ano naman po yung tinatawag na parallel? Yung parallel, okay, these are activities 
that can be performed simul simultaneously. For example, no, tignan nyo po sa second na bilog. Okay? Second na bilog. Papunta sa gitnang mga bilog. Okay? Kung titignan nyo po yung dalawang arrow dyan, it can be done simultaneously. Okay? Okay, simultaneously kasi separate lang, no? Okay, you cannot able to proceed to the third and fourth nodes without conducting the activities prior to uh, the third and fourth nodes kung, um, prior to the third and fourth nodes, nodes without um, conducting the activities simultaneously. Tawag dyan parallel. Katulad din po ng third and fourth node to the fifth node, kung titignan nyo, fifth node, yung ipang lima na, nasa second to the last na bilog, okay? um, simultaneous din. Hindi po makakapunta sa fifth node if hindi po gagawin ng sabay yung activities from the third and fourth node papuntang fifth node. Okay? Yun po yun. Okay? Nakukuha po ba yung pagkakaiba ng series and parallel, guys? Ha? Huh? Guys? Guys? Yes, sir. Okay. Oh, next. Nasaan na yung slides? Next. No? Oh, ha? Parts pa lang pa tayo, ha? Nasa parts pa lang. O, nasaan na yung slides? Okay. Okay, ha, nasa parts pa lang tayo ng ng Perth, no? Kanina sinabi ko po that in every activity, in every activity po, in every activity, mayroon po tayong tinatawag na time. The time can be, okay? The time are are identified in three different manners. Next slide. Okay, doon tayo sa next slide. No? Take note, ha? sa bawat araw, may oras at resources na ilalagay. Okay? Ngayon, yung kailangan po natin intindihin is yung tatlong um, tatlong sina, um, tinatawag na classes of time. No? Tinatawag na classes of time, okay? Meron po tayong tinatawag na optimistic time, okay? Optimistic time. Meron din naman po tayong um, pessimistic time, okay? At meron din po tayong tinatawag na most likely time, okay? Ano po ba itong optimistic time, Okay? Pag sinabi pong optimistic time, okay? How about Miss Balibalita? Baka naka-research siya. Ano po yung sinasabing optimistic time? Okay? Optimistic time. Ha. Okay? Pag sinabi pong optimistic time, it is the time period, okay, that is... That is the time period, shortest. the shortest period that we can able to finish the activity. Kaya po tinatawag pong optimistic time kasi positive po tayong matatapos agad yung activity at this shortest time. Okay? So nasa na po yung screen? <laughs> okay? Ano naman po yung sinasabing pessimistic time? Okay. Ano naman yung sinasabing pessimistic time? Yung pessimistic time is yung kabaliktaran ng optimistic time. Yung optimistic time, or kabaliktaran ng optimistic time, which is the pessimistic time, yung pinakamahaba, pinakakonservative. No? Ibig sabihin, on this activity, the longest time that we can able to finish this is this time. That is pessimistic time. Ano naman po yung tinatawag na most likely time? Okay. Okay. Yung most likely time, di ba? Kung yung optimistic is the shortest time, ang yung pessimistic time is the longest time that we can able to provide on that activity. 
the most likely time is yung tinatawag namang the highest probable time, okay, the highest probable time, yung siguradong sigurado ka na kung hindi matapos ng one week, hindi naman kung matatapos ng six weeks. Ibig sabihin, sa five weeks pa lang tapos na. The most, the highest probable time that you can provide, or that you can assure that you can finish it. Okay? That is the most likely time. Ano naman po itong time? Expected time. The expected time is computed. It is being computed po ha. Kinocompute po yung expected time. Paano po natin kinocompute yung expected time, guys? Ha? Guys, paano po natin in kinocompute yung expected time? What do, how, how do we compute it? Ha? <clears throat> Sa tingin nyo, that is... That is how, how are we going to compute that? Okay. Sa tingin nyo, that is the optimistic time plus 4. Yung 4, i-multiply mo sa most likely time, okay, plus the, what we called, um, yung tinatawag na na optimist yung pessimistic time okay again it is computed in a way that it is optimistic time plus okay optimistic time okay plus 4 nakukuha niyo po ba na naisusulat niyo po ba guys yes, sir. una ha the um optimistic time plus there is a constant number na 4 okay check lang i-verify ko lang ha kung tama bang constant yung 4 okay Okay. Four. Okay. Saan kaya galing yung four? Okay. Hindi po yan ibig sabihin na, okay, um, na constant yung four. Saan kaya galing yung four? Ha. Okay? Yung 4 is a constant number, ha? Again, that is optimistic time plus 4. Yung 4, i-multiply mo sa most likely time. Sige nga, i-compute natin itong 4.5, ha? That is 1 plus 4 times 5, that is how much? 4 times 5. Magkano? Guys, 4 times 5. 4 times 5. Hello? 20, sir. 20, sir. Plus the pessimistic time of 6. Magkano lahat? 1 plus 20 plus 26. The 26 must be divided to the number of nodes na meron kayo. Okay. In this case, anim po yung nodes, no? Kasi use, itong illustration na ginagamit nila is pertaining to the illustration um, provided in the book of Roque. Six nodes kasi in the book of Roque, yung nodes. Yung denominator mo dyan is the number of nodes. Ha? It is the number of nodes. Okay? It refers to the number of nodes. So, if you are going to compute that, the expected time to finish the said activity is 4.5. Okay? So, kilalanin mo muna, i-estimate mo muna 
I mean, i-determine mo muna what is the optimistic time, the pessimistic time, and the most likely time so that you can able to identify the expected time. The expected time is computed in a sense that you need to add first the optimistic time to the product of four multiplying to the most likely time plus the pessimistic time. After determining the sum, ito nga formula, you need to divide it to the number of nodes existing in the diagram. Okay? Nakukuha po ba? Guys? Guys? Oy. Okay. Sir, paano naman i-determine ang critical path? Okay. Sige. Paano po din determine yung critical path? The critical path is determined okay, by adding the days or the time on each network. Okay? On each network. Pag sinabi pong network, guys, okay, balik po tayo sa diagram, guys. Balik po tayo sa diagram. No? Yung network po, titingnan nyo, ha? Tingnan natin. O, oh, Unang bilog, di ba? May unang bilog sa pinaka-una talaga. Yung may nodes. That's one. Pangalawa, sa gitna, itong sunod sa kanya, di ba? Okay? Then may pangatlo sa taas. Nasa taas, yung pataas na bilog. Tama? Tama po ba, guys? Guys? Tama? Guys? Yes, okay. Ayun, ha? And then... Pataas, may pababa sa, gitna, sa susunod. Tama? Okay? Yes, sir. And then, may panghuli. O, correct? Diba? Itong, it, parang yung isang network is parang isang flow. Tignan mo, isang flow yan, no? This is one flow. Itong una, pang, papuntang sa dalawa, pataas, pababa, papunta isang flow yan. No? Okay? Another network there is itong nasa una, una pa rin, number one, papuntang pangalawa, pababa, pataas, po doon sa second to the last na bilog, papuntang end. That is another network. Here, on this kind of diagram provided to us, there are two paths. Okay? May dalawang path po nagbinigay. Okay? Nakukuha po ba yung pag-determine ng networks? Pag-determine ng networks, guys? Guys? Guys, nakuha po ba yung pag-determine ng network? Uy. Otro, sir. Otro. Otro. Ot ulitin natin, ha? Kasi wala akong control sa slides. Okay. Di ba? Un unang bilog. Di ba? Unang bilog. Pangalawang bilog. Di ba? From, from the left, no? From... Unang bilog, pangalawang bilog, aakyat ka pataas. Right? Di ba may pataas na pangatlong bilog? Yes, sir. Then may pababa na naman. Di ba? Isundan nyo lang yung arrow. Yung arrow yung sundan. Okay? Para bang you are going to determine the path. Parang one way na arrow. Tingnan nyo yung one way na arrow from one up to the last. Ito, Kung titignan nyo from first node to the second node, pataas sa gitna, pababa na naman sa pang-apat, pang-lima, doon sa last. That is one way. That is a path. Okay? Isang daan. Path. It is a network. Okay? Nakukuha nyo po ba, guys? Guys? Uy. Yes, sir. Okay. O, ano, yung, ano yung pangalawang path? O, pwede naman... From, from first node, pupunta pangalawa, pero bababa ka. Oo, di, bagan, parang diversion road, pababa, pataas na naman, paputang end. These are two different ways, two different paths. Nakuha? Nakuha po ba? That is a network, that is a path. Okay? Sundan nyo lang yung, yung linya, yung arrow, that is a path. Okay? Parang one-way path. Okay, that is a network. Okay? So, sir, paano po namin makikita 
kung ano po yung critical path. Sabi ko kanina, the critical path is the longest path okay, through the network. Para makita nyo what is the longest path, what is the critical path, yung gagawin, gagawin nyo is that i-add lahat ng estimate, um, yung estimated time to that path. For example, from one node to another, there is an estimated um, path of... Um, of five, then papunta sa pangalawang node in this path, yung pataas, ha? yung pataas na path muna, ha? yung pataas, may three. And then from third to the fourth path, may seven, and so on. I-add lahat yan ng estimated path, uh, estimated time, you, you can determine how many days or weeks or time you can provide on that path. Then tignan mo naman sa pangalawang path. Ilang R, i-add din lahat ng estimated time. Pag i-add mo, kung saan yung pinakamara, pinakamataas na period, okay? yung pinakamalaki yung period or oras na, igu, ibi, um, oras na ibibigay, yun yung tinatawag na critical path. Naiintindihan po ba? Ha? Guys. 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 Ah. Let me share nga my screen kasi parang hindi nagegets. Let me share my screen. Critical path lang muna tayo. Uh, Miss Balibalita, let me share my screen po. Okay, let me share my screen. I will share a screen, no? Okay. Okay, for a while, guys, huh? Meron po na po bang nakikita, guys? Ha? Guys? Guys? Meron po? Oh, for, uh, no, for example, okay, this is a circle. That's a node. Oh, papagpasensyahan nyo na ha, yung bilog. Kasi I'm not using any mouse here. That's a node. no? And then, dito, okay, Diba? Ayun. There are two paths. Okay? Another circle. Another circle. Okay? And then, ito. Okay? Kung, ayun ha? Okay? Circle pa rin. Circle. And then, punta dito. Okay? Okay. Ayun. Sabihin natin ganun na no. That is the the path. That is the diagram that I prepare. Yung path, okay? Yung path, ito po yung path. 1 2 3 4. This is a path kasi one way siya dito. Okay? Ito one way siya. Isang flow siya, di ba? This is a path. Ito naman another path. 1 2 3 4. Kasi isang way naman ito papunta sa dulo. Kung titignan mo, there are there are ways to go to the end point. Parang, ba, parang bang papunta ka ng Tacloban. There are many roads to go to Tacloban, right? Maraming, if you are coming from Palo, going to Tacloban, there are many flows. There are many ways to go there, to go to to go here in Tacloban. Pwede kang uh, Maharlika Highway, pwedeng Rial. That are paths, no? Pero same end point. Ito, this is a path, this is a path. Okay, two paths. Okay, tanong mo ngayon, saang path ba ang critical? For example, sabihin po natin, 
yung estimated time dito is 3. Dito 2. Estimated time, ha? This is 1. Then ito, 4. Okay. 2. Then, um, um, 1. Okay. Saan po ba yung critical path? Obviously, i-add mo lahat yung estimated time. 3 plus 2 plus 1. That is how much? That is how much? That is 6, right? 6 hours. Sabihin natin, kung dadaan po ako from here papunta dito, I need 6 hours. Okay? Dito naman, sa isa, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 plus 2 plus 1. There is 7. So obviously, yung sasabihin pong critical path, itong part na dito, itong nasa baba. This will be my critical path. Okay? Lagyan po natin ng number 1, yung mga nodes. 2, 3, 4, um, sabihin natin this is the 4, and this is the 5, okay? And this is 6, okay? Yung critical path mo is 1, 3, 5, 6. That is your critical path. The way to 6 is the 1, 3, 5, 6. That's the critical path because that has the longest time na dapat um, ibigay. Okay? Hindi po si 6 yung critical path kasi mababa po siya. Remember, the critical path is the longest path. No? Okay? Longest path siya in a sense that mas malaking oras po yung binibigay po natin. Okay? Nakukuha what critical path is. Okay? Nakuha po ba? Yes, sir. Okay. Sige, hanggang dyan lang muna po tayo. Next meeting, we will discuss naman what is a slack time, okay? The critical path method and what are the benefits, no? Or even the role of a BERT, no? Oo, ba? Okay? Sa critical path lang muna tayo magfo-focus. Bakit? Kasi in actual board exam, madalas pong tinatango, tinatanong, what is the critical path, Okay? What is the critical path? And then how many weeks, days um, yung ibibigay natin on the critical path? But take note, before obtaining the longest time and the critical path, you need to determine first yung tinatawag na estimated time. Uulitin ko, paano po natin ikinocompute yung estimated time? Okay, again, yung estimated time, yung equation po natin is the is the optimistic time, okay, TO plus, okay, 4, that is constant, multiply it to the, the time, um, most likely, okay, okay, plus the pessimistic time, di ba? Okay, then i-divide mo po yan to the number of nodes na meron. Okay? Number of nodes. Diba? Oh, nahirapan ako magsulat sa whiteboard. <laughs> Guys. Okay? Nagegets? Hopefully, this help ha? Nagkaroon ako ng whiteboard class. Okay? Okay? Naintindihan po ba? Okay, you need to compute first the estimated time so that you can able to determine what would be the critical path. Okay? Kuha? Guys? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Any question? Any questions? Any questions? Wala po bang tanong? If wala pong tanong, okay, we'll see you next meeting and please read what um, what slack time is and then we will try to understand more what critical, what critical path can offer. Ano po ang purpose ng critical path, okay? We will try to identify what is the purpose of critical path. Why do we need to compute that? That would be the next topic that we will need to discuss. Okay. Thank you and uh, good morning, everyone.
keep safe bye bye thank bye, you sir, sir. Bye, thank sir. you